Welcome, everyone. It's time for In the Trenches. I'm Eagles insider Dave Spadaro, along with the Hall of Famer Brian Westbrook. And we're talking about a defensive effort against the L.A. Rams on Sunday night where the Eagles, still undermanned on that side of the football, came out and balled against the Rams and, <laughs> and took an offense that had averaged 32.7 points per game leading up to Sunday night. Took them out of their game, Brian. I, I know that there are things about the Rams' offense that are broken a bit. Mm-hmm. Jared Goff not looking real good in the pocket, throwing off his back foot a lot, out of bounds. But the Eagles kept coming, relentless, relentless defense, led by an outstanding front four that has thinned because of injuries. Yeah. But these old guys get it done. I love our front four. But to me, Jim Swartz, who you know I've been critical of in the past, I've said some things that I think he can do a better job last night. He had a great game plan. Allow them to catch the ball in front of you, come up and make the tackle and come up and aggressively tackle. And you're right, it starts in the trenches. The front four, Fletcher Cox, Michael Bennett, Chris Long, Haloti Nada, made it uncomfortable for Jared Goff all game long. He wants to step into throws, throw the ball down the field. Well, you can't do it when Fletcher Cox is pushing your guard back five yards into the, in the, to the backfield. At this point, we talk about you want to dominate a team, we dominated that football team in the trenches from the beginning of the game, and it starts right there. But Jim, Jim Schwartz certainly deserves some credit. And Schwartz gets criticized at times for not blitzing enough. And <laughs> I'm not sure the exact number of blitzes on yeah. Sunday night, but when he brought it, it really was good timing, caught the Rams off guard, and yeah. successful. I'm a firm believer is, you know, you don't have to blitz every single down, but it's the critical downs, the third down where the quarterback wants to get the ball out quick, the third down where the quarterback wants to hold the ball a little bit longer. When you blitz is just as important as how many times you blitz. Jim Swartz last night blitzed at critical situations, and they actually caught Jared Goff off balance an awful lot last night, made him second-guess himself. He wasn't quite sure where the defense was coming from. He wasn't able to read it. That's why the part of the reason why the defense has so much success. There were two three and out series that really got my attention. The first possession of the game when mm-hmm. the Rams had the football, Eagles get them off the field three Set and out. Set the tone early. Yeah, and then in the second half, first time the Rams had the ball after the Eagles punted, and, a, and Rams backed up near their goal line, Eagles came out, attacked the line of scrimmage. Mm-hmm. I just saw the energy, Brian. The Eagles wanted it more than the Rams. They wanted it more. You know, we're a play from ahead type of team. We're more aggressive that way. And at some point, we made that team say, they were frustrated all game long. Jared Goff and, again, Jim Swartz out coach Sean McVay. But at the end of the day, they want to throw the ball down the field. We took away what they do very well and made them dink and dunk. And they weren't prepared to go 12 play drives for a touchdown. They were they frustrated uh, that, that Rams offense. And physically, our defense came up and they answered the bell. That was impressive. You know, we talked last week in our first look at the Rams about Todd Gurley, who had 19 touchdowns mm-hmm. combined going into the game, scored two more on Sunday night. But in close, not as much of an effective no. player. He, I, he didn't job, have an impact. Tell me what they did against Gurley in the run game, 12 carries, 48 yards. Gang, swarmed yes. him, tackled him. They came up, they were physical. They Just like you mentioned, they gang tackled him. They made sure that he couldn't bounce it. They played their contained gap uh, assignment. They played aggressive defense, and when you have 11 guys swarming to the ball like we we can and we're able to play like we did last year, then it's going to be hard for any running back to find those holes and those creases to attack. Todd Gurley was not effective last night. Let's talk about a couple of individuals, players who may be under the radar a bit, who are kind of emerging just Mm -hmm. a little bit here, especially in the secondary. Rasul Douglas, 14 tackles. Now, he will get beat but he doesn't give up on plays, and he really is not afraid to mix it up at all. One of the things you love about young players, they may make some mistakes, but they don't lose their confidence. Rasul Douglas does not lose his confidence. He's still aggressive. He comes up and hits players in the mouth. You wonder why Ty Gurley didn't have some of those big runs. A lot of it had to do with our cornerbacks and safety coming up and hitting him in the mouth and being physical at the line of scrimmage. That was an impressive thing for Rasul Douglas. He got beat a couple times last night, but he continued to compete. Most important thing from a young player. The Eagles had three takeaways in the game, one of them from rookie, cornerback, Safety, nickelback, Avante Maddox, who came back to the Eagles lineup, played a lot of outside cornerbacks. So this is a young man who is (laughs) versatile, who's smart, who's physical, who's got talent. Brian, this this kid's a player. You know, as a coach, your struggle to get young players to play is because you don't want to overload them. 
But now you have a guy like uh, Avante Maddox, and you're saying, we need you to play cornerback. We may need you to play a little bit of nickel. We may need you to play some safety. We need you to learn all this. And, oh, by the way, we're playing against one of the hottest teams in the league. He was so successful, so aggressive, so smart, just like you mentioned. I love the way that he plays with so much confidence. It's a credit to, of course, Maddox himself, but Malcolm Jenkins making sure they're all lined up and Jim Swartz in the secondary of making sure that everybody knows where we need to funnel the ball to. The defense did a great job yesterday. Have you seen enough of Cravon LeBlanc? Blanc at nickel cornerback mm -hmm. to think that he is a player who might be around for a while? Competitor. He's going to give you some help on special teams. Defensively, you know, he's going to continue to challenge receivers. He's going to do all the small things the right way. And as a coach, that's what you really want. Do all the small things, and the big things will continue to work out in your favor. LeBlanc last night did a good job as well. And finally here, talking about the defense, the red zone, holding the Rams to two touchdowns mm -hmm. in six trips inside the Eagles' 20-yard line. And that was the difference, really, yeah. in the game. Three takeaways, for sure, huge. Two, two games back-to-back -back here. We talked about takeaways all year. Getting them in bunches, the Eagles are starting to do that. It's funny because, and they mentioned this a bunch on the, on the broadcast, and this is absolutely true. The Eagles' defense played a bunch of plays last week. They had every reason in the world playing a bunch of plays overtime last week and then traveling across the country to play a very good Rams team to give up and quit. They didn't do that. They showed up and showed out. That was the most impressive part. Again, Jim Swartz gets credit for that. Doug Peterson gets credit for that, as well as the leaders on this football team. A shout-out also to the special teams. Yes. Cam Johnson, 52.3 net yards on his three punts. Jake Elliott, three field goals, missed a 53-yarder at the end of the game. I would have punted in that situation. Uh, the Eagles' coverage teams did a great job in kickoff and in punt, recovered a punt late mm -hmm, in the game, mm -hmm. allowed the Eagles to take some clock. Uh, time off the clock, and a key part of it. When you beat a team like the Rams, you do it with all three phases. All three phases. I mean, it comes into play every single game. Every single week we would go into the game, and Andy Reid would say, offensively, we have to win. Defensively, we have to win. Special teams, we have to win. The special teams controlled the field position all game long, getting key turnovers, that punt return a fumble. That was a huge turnover. Again, momentum, allow our offense to have a short field. We played with a short field almost – you know, a, a lot of possessions yesterday. That was an impressive thing. Continue. Special teams, defense, offense. That's how you win in the NFL. As you step back, Brian, and look back at the game, take a deep breath here. More impressive the way the Eagles offense played or the way the Eagles defense played? Oh, man, that, that's a tough one. I think the defense was the most impressive because that unit across the field, they're putting up 30, 40 points a game. It was impressive that the way that we didn't only slow them down. We dominated that game. We dominated from the word go, the first whistle of the game. I, again, give credit to a lot of guys on that defense playing as a unit. It was impressive. And Jared Goff struggling, the crazy play where he fumbles, yep. stumbles, throws it. Frustrated Corey, him early on in that Corey game. Corey Graham, the interception, can't quite get to the house again. He's got to work on that. <laughs> but he set the Eagles up for a touchdown to That's put right. them up 30-13. to 13. So a big win for the Eagles and a great performance from the defense and the special teams contributing to the victory. Ryan Westbrook, Dave Spadaro, thanks for joining us in the trenches.